Hey, are you thinking of starting an e-commerce store and you're kind of wondering, is Wix the right choice? My name is Salvador Brigman and in this video, we're gonna to get to the bottom of this of whether or not Wix is a good choice when it comes to starting an e-commerce store and getting your product out there to the world, which at the end of the day is the whole adventure here. It's almost like you're a settler and you're going west, you know, westward expansion. But to you, you gotta understand the map before you really start that journey and get those products out there to people around the world. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. Specifically, is Wix a good choice when it comes to starting an e-commerce store or starting an online store? Is it the right platform to go with? And to be honest, this is one of the most exciting journeys in which you can embark upon. I really think this is kind of like you being a settler going west and you're going through these incredible adventures and opportunities and challenges. And you're kind of with this store laying the ground rooks. It's almost like laying the tracks. They're gonna take you from point A to point B. And the more you can understand the map, the easier it's gonna be for you to lay those tracks. And honestly, I think this is incredible as well because you're getting products out there into the hands of other people, which to have other people use your products and incorporate them into their daily life is just so freaking exciting. So my name is Salvador Rigman. Let's get right into it. And it's coming up right after this. So I'm not overstating this when I really do think that you are a hero. In fact, that you kind of almost have a superpower here. If you can bring a product into the world, you can sell it online, you can get into someone's hands around the other side of the world. It's kind of like you have a superpower and also a really cool way to impact their life and to impact the world. And so one reason why I actually started my podcast, Crowdfunding Demystified, where I interview people who have run successful Kickstarter, Indiegogo campaigns. This is before they actually go the e-commerce route where they're just kind of generating that product I'm coming up with the prototype, getting it out there, raising funds. That's really the basis behind my show. And I've been doing that for so long, right? I got started in the crowdfunding industry since 2012, and I started my podcast in 2015. It's really grown from there. And for me, the other thing that kind of was the real reason why I've been focused on e-commerce mostly recently is that all these students that I have that then build out this incredible store afterwards, I kind of want to tell just more of that story. So what happens after you do have that physical product? And specifically today for you, understanding is Wix a good choice to go with when it comes to being a beginner? Is this something you should be aware of if you're an advanced online store owner? What are some of the pros and the cons there? And is this really a good choice for starting an online store? Let's get into it right now. So if I had to distinguish Wix from all the other options that are out there, I would definitely say that it really appeals to the beginner. Um, it's one of the most easiest ways in order to set up an online store. User interface is super slick. Dashboard is super easy to use. And I really think that this is geared to people who don't have a lot of experience when it comes to selling online. So it's almost as easy as like a chimp could do this, right? Anyone who's basic, who doesn't have very high level technological skills, someone who isn't really accustomed to using online tools, I think this is a very good fit for that kind of individual. What I like so much about this is the fact that they have a drag and drop interface. And that's what I mean, it's like a chip could do it, right? Like you can literally just drag and drop and it's just so easy for that reason. And the cool thing as well about this drag and drop interface is that the reason why I think these people, why this platform, why this team understands the usability aspect is that they are actually based in developing websites for people. Right? So Wix is really a platform and it got started as a platform where you can build a website. And because they understand those problems, it makes it much easier for them to create solutions that are geared towards those non-techy, non-nerdy kind of people who just really wanna get a store up and running quickly, wanna use the drag and drop interface and get it done simply, easily, and efficiently. These guys know their stuff when it comes to building portfolio websites, online sites, blogs, um, you know, anything in the way of communicating what you do as a service, they know their stuff and they've been doing that for so long. And that's why I think they just have a lot of expertise when it comes to building a very intuitive, easy to use site and something that's kind of attractive for a lot of the amateurs or the beginners out there. So they've also brought a lot of new stuff to the world of online selling. And specifically we're talking about ADI, which is artificial design intelligence. So this is a whole new thing where they can basically, you can put in a URL, or if you already have some online presence in some way, or even a physical store presence, they can take that information and they can actually build you an online store. And all you gotta do is kind of designate what you really want in those different sections of the store, and they can, boom, get a whole store up and running quickly for you using this artificial design intelligence. I also see that being a major trend as well. We're seeing a lot of other companies use this kind of artificial intelligence, particularly Microsoft, for example, with Microsoft PowerPoint. I love the kind of design features that they have there. But you can see this incorporated, first of all, with Wix and the way that that makes it so much easier to get an online store up and running quickly. 
as well, you know, if you're not interested in using artificial intelligence or artificial design intelligence, and that's not something you want to incorporate, you can also choose from many of their different themes and there when it comes to different types of businesses, different types of stores, you can literally just go and browse their theme marketplace and you can find something probably that you're going to like. So whether or not you decide to use this new functionality when it comes to Wix, it's going to be easy still for you to get and customize the look and the feel of your store, the colors, all that kind of stuff, that brand feel that you're really going for when it comes to your online store. So there is a caveat. There is a caveat that comes with it. It's not just all, you know, rainbows and sparkly cookies and amazing things, right? There is a caveat here. But first of all, just to kind of recap, this is great for people who are trying to get their start. This is people who are trying to build an online store, maybe like a five figure, six figure store, not like a seven, eight or a nine figure store. This is great for drop shipping. Um, this is good for people who are amateurs who have never sold a product online before. And this is really good for you. If you just want something easy to use, I would definitely recommend Wix for starting an online store. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillrate today. Link in the description. So yes, this is great, amazing, exciting, right? There's actually a solution out there that is easy to use, so exciting, right? But again, there are some caveats. So if you're looking to, for example, create an enterprise level store, if you're trying to create something that's really enterprise grade, I'm talking about you know an eight figure store, a nine figure store, really trying to grow a massive e-commerce business like a lot of the students that I have out there, when it comes to their online store, this honestly might not be the best solution for you. So I do think it's better for people who are hobbyists, for people that are maybe trying to quit their full-time job and do e-commerce full-time or have like one or two employees, right? But if you're really trying to build something big, and again, I talk about like eight, nine figures, um, you're probably gonna be more likely to go with a more robust solution. And there's a couple of reasons to that. The first is just the app marketplace. So while the app marketplace is great when it comes to Wix and you can get a lot of functionality very quickly when it comes to setting up an online website, right? And a lot of the kind of things common things there, it's still, in my opinion, a little bit lacking when it comes to e-commerce functionality. And just kind of another competitor, right? Shopify has a much better e-commerce marketplace and also new stuff coming out there much more regularly when it comes to apps. So if you want something really fancy, really advanced in that way, you're probably more likely to go with a different kind of online platform. The other one there is coding. And just from a coding foundational standpoint, it's gonna be much more, I'd say, user-friendly for a developer or someone who has much more coding experience to use a different platform. I know so you can edit and hard edit that code. Um, there are also some other minor differences, I would say, when it comes to themes and how those themes are implemented. When it comes to drag and drop, that's great. But some other people out there are more likely to want to have themes and have hard-coded information or hard-coded functionality into those themes and be able to edit that. So a little bit different, right? If you're trying to set up something a little bit more on the enterprise grade there. So you might not get this analogy. Um, you know, I got started as a blogger. My website, crowdcrux.com, I started back in 2012 uh, as a blog. And that kind of grew over time to the podcast, to the YouTube, to all the stuff that I do now, the courses, the books, the products, all that kind of stuff, coaching. And um, for me, I kind of liken this almost to the difference between Squarespace, which is another online uh, website, and WordPress. So WordPress, when it comes to blogging, is like more of a sophisticated solution where you can really customize code, you can install themes, a lot of plugins and that kind of stuff. Squarespace is more something for beginners and a professional blogger might not use that kind of platform. So it's kind of similar in the same way that Wix is great for amateurs, for beginners. You're trying to get a, a micro store going or a small store, even a mid-sized store, but you're not trying to go big. You're not trying to really go advanced with that functionality too much. You're not getting a hardcore development team involved when it comes to upgrading all that, creating something really robust. Have, a, have heavy levels of traffic and lots of different uh, e-commerce functionality that way. So if you are just a beginner, I think Wix is great as a starting store. If you really are having that, you're trying to raise money, for example, in the future when it comes to your business, you're probably gonna go with a different type of solution. So kind of as a fun fact, when I was first getting started in the business world, you know, I was living in New York City and one of the places that I loved going was the Wix co-working space. And this was like such cool, you know, be able to go and work at a co-working space and it was free which is kind of also based on their principles because you can start an online store for free when it comes to Wix. 
you can start a lot of these different um, kinds of things when it comes to their platform, right? So they have a really, I think, in my opinion, kind of this foundational principle of offering something for free for people to try it out, which I really like. And I was able to go to their co-working space for free when I was just starting out in the business world. And I'm so thankful for that as a beginning entrepreneur. So one of the CTAs, one of the things I want to mention today is the fact that if you are interested in starting your own online store, I'm gonna include a link down below where you can go directly to doing that and you can do that for free this is also a link where if you go through this link and you're signing up for one of their upper tier paid plans, you will also help to compensate this channel so we can put out more videos just like this for you with great quality content and also good editing. So to kind of round off at least my analysis here, um, you know, I think the biggest determining factor of whether you would start the store with Wix or not is really the app marketplace and also the drag, drag and drop functionality, which I mentioned earlier, being so easy for newbies and for amateurs and for beginners. So the app marketplace, again, great robust functionality when it actually comes to building out the site, but not as robust and not as plentiful as some of the apps that are out there on Shopify. However, if you're kind of just getting started in e-commerce, you're just kind of you know building out a small store, it might not matter to you, honestly. And again, those Shopify apps that I'm referring to are also heavily priced. So you have to be willing to also invest in your store if you're using another tool like Shopify or a more robust e-commerce platform. So let's tally this up, man, and we'll kind of wrap up the video here. Number one, if you're looking for a drag and drop interface, artificial design intelligence, robust app marketplace, uh, intuitive dashboard, run the store anywhere, and get started fast, I do recommend Wix as a solution for you. And I have a prophecy, one of Sal's prophecies, I do think that more and more we're going to be seeing Wix e-commerce stores coming to light. We've already seen Shopify really dominate this sector, but I do think that more and more these Wix e-commerce stores are so easy to set up that we're going to see more and more of them and more people having them when it comes to starting their e-commerce adventure. And that's really what it is, man. It is an adventure. It's a journey. It is exciting to get a product out there into the world, to have it into other people's hands, and just to be able to help you or guide you on that journey, to hold your hand as you're going through these different steps, it fills me with so much passion and excitement. So if there's anything that I can do to help you with this, number one, go and check out the link down below to start a Wix e-commerce store. Again, the one that I recommend for beginners out there. Number two, if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me, I will also include the link down below in the description of this YouTube video. And number three, we are doing a new thing here at CrowdCrux. So it's not just me, you know, Salvador Brig when it comes to this. I also have a team of people that help me out. Uh, and we put this under my website, crowdcrux.com. So if you're interested in getting help when it comes to starting your store or specifically with marketing that store, getting traffic, getting sales, and you don't want to figure all this out yourself. And to be honest, like I try to put out videos so you can. But if you really just want to hire a team of experts to help you with this, you can just go to the link I'm about to mention and you can apply to work with us. Now we've been getting a lot of info here, so I can't promise that we'll be able to uh, respond and to be able to actually work with you. But if you're doing something really interesting and you're passionate about what you're doing, those are the types of people that we enjoy working with. So you can go to the link crowdcrux.com slash help. Again, that's C-R-O-W-D-C-R-U-X.com slash help, crowdcrux.com slash help. And I will also include that link down below and you can apply and you can see if you'd like to work with us and we can help you when it comes to getting traffic, really growing your store, even getting the functionality up and running. More importantly, getting those people, getting that foot traffic to your store so you can start to make sales, start to grow this thing, and to really make this go from being a hobby to a full-time thing, then maybe even scaling beyond that, which would be so exciting. So again, my name is Salvador Brigman. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you did like it. Come subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you want to show some love, and I will see you next time.